Hi everyone, today we're going to go over an advanced process in regression known as moderation. A moderator variable is a variable within a regression that changes the nature of the relationship between the predictor and the criterion based on the moderator variable being included in the model. Uh, it's best to understand a moderator variable when it's categorical. And so if the moderator variable is one category, the relationship may go one way. And if the moderator variable is another category, it would go the other way. In other words, a relation might stay the same or it might strengthen or it might weaken based on the category of the moderator. And so uh, I'm going to show you this uh, in JASP and how we look at this. And uh, we're going to use a, uh, a fake data set by Andy Field. Um, who looked at parrots and parrots' uh, relationship with uh, their owner. And so uh, the parrot could either be male or female, and there are 100 parrots, and 50 parrots are male, and 50 parrots are female. And uh, uh, this variable of sex was dummy coded, zero for male, one for female. And the uh, regression is based on how the amount of affection shown to the parrot uh, 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 is, you know, is associated with the closeness the parrot shows to his or her owner. And so, um, you know, the first thing we want to do is we want to, you know, look at some descriptive statistics. And so uh, we can see our, our variables here. We can see the sex of the parrot. We can see that it was dummy coded, zeros and ones. And then we can look at the relationship between affection and closeness. The more, you know, just, you know, the more affection I show the parrot, the parrot should be closer to the owner. So that's what we're, 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 we're assessing here. And so we're gonna take affection and closeness and move those over here. And we'll get means and standard deviations for these values. And we're going to do a split. So I want to see this based on the gender of the parrot. So, uh, and then we're going to ask for plots. So I'm going to ask for sc scatter plots. And I don't look at density, but I do like the histogram sometimes. We can see the distributions of each of the variables on the scatter plot. Um, and I want to see uh, the linear relationship. Uh, and notice for males and females, here's female. Um, look at what's happening here. Um, so females, notice that slope right here. And males notice the slope. And so the slope for a female parrot, when you're showing a female parrot uh, affection, the female parrot gets extremely close to the owner, but the males isn't affected. All right. And so, you know, this is going to be, you know, this is going to have some consequences uh, that we want to be attentive to. So let's go to regression and um, let's go to linear regression. And first, let's look at the relationship between um, affection and closeness. And we can see that there is a statistically significant relationship, F of 198 equals 13.55, P is less than 0 .01, 0 0.001, and we're accounting for about 12% of the variance. But then we also want to take into account, and so, you know, this is a, a small to moderate relationship. But then we want to take gender into account and also see if gender moderates uh, the relationship between affection and closeness. Does it strengthen or weaken that relationship? And we think we already know the answer to that based on the scatter plot here. And so I'm going to uh, take gender. Um, actually gender dummy. We, we don't want gender, we want the dummy coded variable. And then I'm going to go to model. And I'm going to click on both of these and move it over. So now I can test the moderation. And, when I, uh, and, and I always like to um, look at some additional statistics. I like the part and partial uh, correlations and collinearity diagnostics. I always like to include those. Um, 
you know, uh, you're, you know, um, and you can see, well, there's, of course, multicollinearity between the moderating variable and the, uh, 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 the, 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 the dummy coded variable because they're, they're, they're included here. Um, so we're not too worried about that. But what we do want to uh, put our attention to uh, is um, we want to put our attention to the significance of uh, the moderating variable. And notice that the moderating variable is statistically significant. There's a statistically significant moderation happening here. Um, and so that describes this plot right here that something is going on. Um, we can also look at uh, the part correlation. We can square this value and get the unique amount of variance accounted for uh, in the model. And so um, if you just square 0 0.305, you get about 9% of the variance uniquely accounted for by this moderation. Another advanced function that we can look at is we can see how the regression model changes. So let, let's take a look at that regression model first. Notice, <laughs> I went from accounting for 12% of the variance to 86% of the variance in the model. This is a huge moderating variable. Uh, gender, the gender matters. And not only does gender matter, you know, but if I did not look, you know, if I just looked at these two predictor variables without gender, you know, we, we could say that, um, uh, we can say that that uh, if, if I look at affection and, and just gender, um, I'm accounting for 77% of the variance of the model. Gender is very important. But then when I take into account the moderating effect, you know, I've added about 9% of the variance to the model. You know, well, how did that happen? Well, that unique contribution by the moderator. So notice how the R squared changes. And if you like to depict that, you can just click on this box here and it's going to say, hey, there was a statistically significant difference uh, uh, when you accounted for the moderation. And, uh, you know, so gender, yes, gender matters, but so does this uh, moderating effect. And so, you know, whether or not the parrot is male or female. And so that's, that's how we can examine moderation uh, in regression. So hope that's helpful in showing how uh, a variable can change the nature of a relationship.